Hello everyone, this is Ritesh from Dancing with Data. Please note my new website where I am putting my content. Three courses are already available over there, so do check. You will see free and paid, both sorts of content over there. Today I'm going to talk about a latest feature with 2023.3. The demo that I will give you will not be available in the coming few days because it's very new and it's not available at desktop. But do not worry, I will show you the demo with the help of my cloud instance of Tableau. So I'll just not only speak about it or show the GIF, I'll show you how it actually works. So this is a feature that we are talking about. Here you can create more dynamic visualizations by using the value of parameters, right? So this is basically if you see, you know, I, I had to little uh, investigate on how it works actually because it step by step is not available for now. But you don't worry, uh, I'm doing that for you. So if you see, it's basically parameter action under, this is under the influence of parameter action where if you select data points over there, it will automatically fill the start and end date. So it will pick the end date, not end date, but the start value and the end value, start sales value, start end value from the visual dynamically and your visualization on the right hand side will respond to your selection. So that's where you can see your axis is dynamically changing over there which is a real good feature because it gives you better visibility of your destination bar chart on the right hand side. So how can we do that? Because this uh, step by step is not available. So I'll show you. So you can have a close look over, over here, right? On, uh, so let, let, let us first see what are these charts. Are. It's very simple. On the left hand side, you can see a scatter plot based on sales and profit. And the level of granularity is at subcategory level. On the right hand side, you have sales distribution by subcategories over there. That means the level of detail will should match on the left hand side and, and right hand side. Let me open just and show that to you. So if I go to sheet, you can see the level of detail is a subcategory over here. And if I go back to sales by year, there also the level of detail is at subcategory. So it is important for you to understand this part. Now the most important part over here is uh, if you go to your access, edit access, now there is a new uh, feature for you that is custom, right? Custom, right? So earlier it was fixed over there. Now it is, uh, so just you can, before that, before we talk about this one, uh, remember that we have created two parameters over there. So let us go to the parameters first. And you can see at the bottom, you can see, let me just pull it off sales. And I've created a simple, you know, uh, two parameters over there, which is nothing data type float and allowable values should be all. So same, you can duplicate and you can create access end as well. So these are the two parameters. Afterwards, what we are doing is we are trying to uh, go to sales by yes, because here we want to make change over there. At this, at this access, I'll, I'll go to the access, I'll go to the dashboard actually, and from there we can pick. So I go there. Now I say edit access. Now custom, right? So it should take access start from the access start parameter. So you can pick that value and access end from the access end parameter. Now, how to make this dynamic? So for that, we need to create parameter action. So for parameter, it's simple go to dashboard and uh, I go to action. So you need to create two parameter actions over there. One for start, one for end. So you can just go add uh, this change parameter action. After that, this window will open. So you need to ensure that you are picking the right, right shows sheet because this is coming from the scatter plot, right? From there. Target parameter should be access start for the access start parameter action. Source field, look, this is a very important step over there because there are two points, right? So whenever you are picking multiple points over there, it should pick minimum and maximum. So access start should come from minimum. So it should pick minimum of some of sales over there. This is very important. And similarly, if I talk about the access end, so if I, if I just go over there for a while and just open this one and here you can see, the aggregation should be maximum. Okay, so we are good. Okay. Now what you will see that if, if, if I pick the multiple, our parameter action is done over there. So automatically it will take minimum and maximum with the help of parameter action. So access start will take this one, 149528. That's what you see over there. And similarly, automatically it will take access end as 330007 over there as you can see. So this way, now if I just pick the multiple uh, data points over there, 
the axis will automatically change and now it is quite uh, convenient for us to analyze with the different data points and the flexible dynamic axis over there so do enjoy this new feature and i'll see you again till you just keep on dancing with data kyunki data hi data hai bye bye